everybody, welcome to the Comic Game Movie Show. My name is Deshaun, and today I'm here to talk about that Marvel What If trailer, official trailer. Now, I had been thinking to myself, when are they gonna start promoting this thing? Because there's like, like, cause like, um, they have been promoting WandaVision, um, Falcon and Winter Soldier, and Loki. They have been promoting those since the Super Bowl of 2019. Like, they have been promoting those things for almost two years now. You know, they're done now, you know, all, like, Loki's about wrapping up, WandaVision's done, Falcon and Winter Soldier. But they have to promote these ones for so long, in my mind, I was like, when are they gonna start promoting, you know, some of the other stuff? And turns out, What If is coming August 11th, so it's not that long from now, it's next month. Um, you know, we got, got Black Widow, right now I'm recording this on a Thursday. Got Black Widow coming out tomorrow for me. Well, Black Widow coming out. It's already out, actually. I can go see it right now, but, you know, it's kind of where, where I'm at. It's kind of raining and shit, so I'm just like, ah, I don't know. I want to do it right now. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Um, I haven't, okay, I haven't, I, I, I might do it tomorrow. I want to see it with Seth. I want to see it with Seth, but there's a part of me that's like, I have not been to see an MCU movie in so long that I want to cherish this all by my lonesome, and then maybe I'll see it with Seth afterwards. <laughs> but anyways... That Marvel What If, now Marvel What If is something I've talked about before. It's one of those things that's like, it's a clever idea. Because the MCU, um, this is when you know you've made it, really. Because the MCU is so big, has so many movies, has so many things going on in it, that they can have, that they can be self-reflective. Um, it's the same thing that um, long-running TV shows do. When a, when a show's been around long enough, you start to be able to be self-reflective because usually you can't do that because if you're just, you know, some starting off show, you're just, you know, being self-aware about other shows. You're talking about other shows. But once you've been around long enough, all of a sudden, you are one of those shows, so you have to be self-reflective. That's the same thing with the MCU. The MCU's been around so long, it's been so successful, it's made so much money, but now it can be self-reflective and ask questions like, but what if we did this? 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 And that's such a cool space to be. And that's why I always thought Marvel What If was like a no-brainer to be done. I remember hearing a rumor about it years ago, and I was like, oh, that's a great idea, man. Um, and they're doing it animated. Um, and like like I said, and and like there's only a couple new things that I got, tidbits I got, because for the most part, we kind of got an idea of what some of them will be. There's definitely gonna be one that's a Marvel Zombies. There's gonna be one where um, T'Challa becomes, not Star-Lord, I see a lot of people saying T'Challa becomes Star-Lord, but if you remember, the only reason um, Peter Quill was called Star-Lord was because of his mother. But T'Challa doesn't have the same, but in this version, T'Challa wouldn't have the same thing going on. Um, he wouldn't have, his mom probably wouldn't call him that, maybe he'd be called something else. Um, something more T'Challa, something more um, <clears throat> T'Challa, um, Wakandan. Something, you know, like a, like maybe Basque or something. Maybe be called something more Wakandan. And um, he wouldn't be called Star-Lord, though. He'd be called something else. I, at least I think so. I don't know. We'll see. I think he'd be called something else. But yeah, and I love the interesting thing about it, too. Because you kind of got a little tidbit. It's only like a two-minute trailer. But you got a little tidbit between him and Yondu. And it is clear. He is... W Yondu likes him way more than he ever liked Peter Quill. Maybe he loved Peter Quill. But he didn't, like, he likes fucking, he likes goddamn T'Challa way more. Like, they, it seems like they get along a lot better. It seems like the, the like, like T'Challa's even kill, like, kind of attitude is kind of vibing well with Yondu. And, I mean, because, like, because like, remember, that scene played out differently. If you remember in the original Guardians, because the end scene, because um, near the tail end, you get this great scene with voice by Chadwick Boseman coming back to voice T'Challa, which is great. Sad that um, this will be Chadwick Boseman's last role um, ever. This will be his last Last role as him, so you know they're gonna hit. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna premiere two episodes because I'm hearing it's gonna be kind of. I'm hearing it's gonna be kind of a more traditional thing. It's gonna be about like 25 to 30 minute episodes. Um, I'm and there's gonna be about 10 of them. I'm betting money they're gonna release two of them. Uh, at least in my mind, I think they're gonna release two of them. They're gonna release the guard. They're gonna release the Chadwick Boseman Guardians one. And they're gonna release the Peggy Carter one. They heavily prom have been promoting the Peggy Carter as Captain. Well, she calls herself Captain Carter, but maybe she's called Captain Britain. She's got Brit British flag on the um on the fucking shield. So maybe she's called Captain Britain. Um, so they've been heavily promoting that. Can't wait to see that. Great to see my girlfriend. You know, my wife. She's not my girlfriend. She's my wife. You know, um, Haley Atwell. She doesn't know it, but we were married. You know, another one of her. One of those. Love Haley Atwell. Great actress. Seen her in other stuff. Always will be Peggy Carter to me, though. Always will be Peggy Carter to me. Loved Asian Carter. People need to go see that. Watch Asian Carter. It's on Hulu. Oh, it's on Netflix. It's on Disney Plus. <laughs> 
So on Disney Plus, go up to G. We got too many goddamn streaming services. I'm like, <laughs> but but yeah. Um, so that's gonna be fun. But the one that shocked me was actually the one that kicked it off because we had known there might be a Killmonger one, and we kind of probably knew there would be an Iron Man one. But it was very confusing about how it was gonna go down. I always thought it was gonna be. Oh, what if I, like, I always thought the Killmonger one, at least we all kind of assumed, was going to just be what if Killmonger got the throne. But it seems like it's going to be, what if Killmonger saved Iron Man? I mean, saved Tony Stark. No, not Iron Man. Tony Stark at the beginning of Iron Man. And I was thinking, and, like, and when I saw the trailer, the thoughts just, flood, like, that's what makes this a cool idea. Because it's one of those things that's like, the thoughts just kind of flood your mind. You just start going, what would happen if... He saved him. Because theoretically, that could have happened. If you recall, at that time, like 2008, yeah, man, Eric Killmonger was in the shit killing people at 2008. 2008, 2007? Like, yeah, man, he was in the shit killing people. He was overseas murdering people in Afghanistan, being a killing machine, earning the name Killmonger. But what if he met Tony Stark Iron Man and saved his life? It would have completely changed everything. Because think about it. Tony would have never had his self-reflective moment. So he would just continue to be an asshole. Killmonger would have had a, a, a huge, powerful friend to fund his um his plans to go. Because at this point, he still would know about Wakanda. He'd still be planning to go and take over, like, to go and take over Wakanda. And, like, you know, become king. Except now, he would have fucking powerful asshole Tony Stark backing his play, which would mean he's able to take over fucking Wakanda easy. In fact, there was a leak, but there was another thing. There was a leak Funko Pop of Killmonger in the Black Panther suit with an Ultron head. So, like, it's, does he go to war with Ultron in this one? It's fucking nuts to think about. It's just insane to think about. For, and, and secondly, I think I saw what the Stephen Strange one was. I think it hit me. It's what if Stephen Strange tried to go back to his old life? Because um, cause it was him in his suit, and he's still wearing a suit, and he's trying to, you know, he's wearing a suit, and, you know, he's trying to, I'm trying to think, he's trying to, because the way he was dressed and whatnot, it seemed like this was old Stephen Strange, but like he, but like, like I said, I think it's what if Stephen Strange tried to go back to his old life, and like it would not work out, like he would just turn, he would just become, like, like he couldn't have that with the minds, he couldn't have this power and stuff with the mindset, I think that's what, what they're going for. But I, I'm not sure. The Marvel Zombies ones look nuts. Looks fucking nuts. It looks like there might be one, like, what if Loki had took an ass. Like, we don't know what the what ifs are. There's a quick sit stint back of Howard the Duck. It looks like Yon. It looks like the like Yondu. It looks like in that reality, fucking Yondu. And um, T'Challa beat the shit out of the Collector. I mean, like, there's some sequence with the Hulk and Black Widow and... I'm not sure what the hell's going on, man. I am not sure, but I'm excited to see this. Each episode will be a nice... This, this will be the first anthology in the Marvel franchise. First anthology. I love anthologies. I'm, 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 pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've already reviewed a couple anthologies on this channel. So, you know I love anthologies. So, I am head over heels excited for this. I hope this is as good as it looks. I like the animation style. It's very different and unique. It's kind of like this photo... It's kind of like... 3D photo. It's kind of comic booky, but kind of real. Like it's got a weird vibe to it that I can't quite explain. I'm excited for this. I can't wait to see more. Um, there, and then they released a poster that had some cool images. There was an image of Gamora in the Thanos outfit, the gold Thanos outfit with the blade. There's a picture of Ultron with the Infinity Stones embedded in his body. There's a picture of fucking Spider-Man with fucking Doctor Strange's fucking cloak. So this is gonna be lit. This is gonna be crazy. I can't wait for August the 11th. This is gonna be really fun. Marvel's first foray in animation. My Marvel Studios proper first foray in animation. And I can't wait to see what happens, man. Thank you guys for coming to Game Movie Show. Please remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.